Hey everyone, Natalie Turner with Henu Canada. I'm on the carpet here. Had a little bit of an accident. There was actually quite a bit of a, uh, sorry, of blood on my carpet. So I'm going to show you how to clean that. I did a couple other videos earlier, but I'm going to do this sideways here so that you can see. So first what you need is you need your medium, soft, living duo glow. This is the textile side. This is the pickup or wood soft side. I'm going to use both because there was actually quite a bit of blood all over. So this is about my fourth or fifth area that I'm doing. So I rinse this in between with cold water or hot water if you're going to rinse it, but make sure that you're using cold water, which is why I have my spray bottle here. So it's just water and if you can see these spots here of blood, you also may need, if you have in your living zone, this medium cloth, which is not a glove, it's a flat fiber, and it is amazing to pick up. It's super absorbent. It's almost like the kitchen all-purpose cloth. So I usually fold it in quarters like this, as you can see, see like that. So I fold it because it's easier to hold in my hand like this and I can go around and pick up all that water. So first thing you want to do is really make sure that you soak that area. This is carpet so you can put as much water as you think you need on that surface. The blood is probably a little bit dry right now so I'm going to then put my hand ergonomically correct onto my glove and do a flat clean on this. We've used this a lot to clean. Um, stuff from our cats, from our dog, and I've had four kids, and this has been very, very well loved and used. So, circular motions, the fiber technology on this side is what's going to pick up all of that blood. So, you're going to go in circles over the area and massage that glove into it because it's the striping on this glove and again you can see see how it's got all these little areas like these little stripes so this is where everything gets trapped this does like the massaging this gets trapped so it's pretty incredible I've uh, like I said cleaned about five areas here and it's very very simple very quick so you're going to massage where you see any blood and then, or dirt, whatever it could be. And I can see that there's a little bit of a spot here, so I'm gonna put a little bit more water and go over it again, like that. But I'm doing just this little section here. Because I just need to work it a little bit more, so there was probably a bigger droplet there. And once I'm done, I'm going to flip my glove and with my two hands, I'm going to push it like this to pick up as much as I can. That's on the carpet. I'm not sure if you can see, but you can see how it's gone. And then I'm going to take my medium fiber, fold it in half, and again, go over it like this and pick up whatever could be left there so that you're removing all traces of dirt, whether or not it's from a pet, blood, vomit, anything you think you have. So there we go. Here's the spot that I did. And i show you how. There's another spot here that I need to do. See that? So this is the area that I did. And it's pretty much gone. See that? So, there we go. It's gone. Stain is gone. So, as easy as that. This glove is incredible. And now I'm going to finish up, oops, sorry, finish up that area here. And I did a whole other session down there lots was there and it actually also picks up even uh, hair that might be caught on your 
uh, surface. So there we go. This is how you work your, in your living duo glove for textile, for wood, for picking up as an absorbent and also a clean fiber and water.